What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make chords and melodies from any vocal sample or sound. If you guys haven't subbed already or turn persons on, make sure you do so, cause it does help it a lot. Let's hop right into it. Now this is the easy mode vocal. All right, I chose this on purpose because I think it'll it'll help me explain what I wanna show you um, better than any other one. So I'll just play like it with the beat real quick. It's love. All right, you can see just one tone pretty much. So what we need to do is double click, right click here, go to pitch corrector. Now from this point on, it's done everything for you, right? Don't overthink it, it's put it in the right scale. It's, I would say nine times out of 10, actually 9.5 out of 10, it'll, it'll get it right, okay? Now from here, what I like to do is center it, um, just so it's on exactly on the note. And now what we could do is click up to these scissors here, you go snap to scale. So if you want to change, transpose it or whatever you can. Um, and then we can go to scale to check the, to make sure it's in the right key, right? B minor, this is a B minor. All right. So everything checks out. Now this is important right here. Most people they'll go, okay, all right. I got the vocal. It's in key. So let's see. E, all right, I'm gonna make a E minor or E major chord out of this. No, don't do that. You're gonna mess up and it's gonna sound bad. Right now, imagine you tuning in the old way of tuning an 808, right? You go to detect Pete, detect, what is it? Detect pitch regions in Edison, right? And then you see all these notes, right? So it'll be like something up here, it'll be like a D and then it'll pitch bend to like a C or I don't know, a B, right? Some people would choose the first note they see, but that's not how you do it. You would choose the longest running tone because that's what you hear the most, right? And it'll match up with your chords the best. So in this case, B is our longest running tone in this section. So that is the chord that we want to start with, or we at least want to make this note our leading tone, right? So if we delete this middle one, and how can I, if we delete this middle section, the next longest leading tone would be this one, right? So we would make a chord starting from G or at least have G as our leading tone. And if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, you need to go back and watch my other videos so you know what leading tones are and all that stuff, okay? So from here, we're gonna click this button and it's gonna make a melody out of this. Now, we're not going to make a melody like a legit melody out of this because I wanna make a specific video on that because there's some rules you have to follow. But let's copy this, pull it here. Let's grab in our B minor so you can see what I'm doing in the background. So we could delete these. And from here, right, you could use this as your leading tone and build around it so you could do something like this. Right, or you could finish the chord out. And I think that one sounds a lot better. All right, or you can go backward. All right, now this is not the best vocal, but this does work. Now this is the simple version. So now we're actually gonna semi make a beat with this. All right, so we have a more complex vocal now. So what we'll need to do is make a chord progression from this, right? The first one was just a single note, right? Easy mode, but now we need to actually make a progression. So there's some other rules I wanna put in place so that you can know how to do that. So I'm gonna play it. Okay, pretty decent. So let's double click, right click, pitch corrector. And once again, everything is mapped. Um, you don't have to do the center stuff. I just do that just in case you wanna manipulate the vocal and change the, t the tones. Just go up here, right to the scissors, go to scale, and it's the A sharp major, okay? So now what we need to do is figure out how to turn this into a chord, chord progression. So there's a rule I like to go by and if that is, if a tone or whatever is down here, a tone is equal to or longer than a beat, right? And the beat will be like this length, no. right? right? Four beats within the whole bar, right? So if it's longer or equal to a beat, it's qualified to be a leading tone, which you can use as a chord progression. So this first one I can already see is about that length, boom, boom. right? That plays long enough so that you can make a chord out of it which this note is a G. 
So we have our first chord, right? A G minor, major, whatever. And then these are obvious. Now I'm gonna warn you, don't just take these and then just automatically make chords out of them because most of the time, um, the last one never really works, okay? So, let me see. We got G, A sharp, and we got D, and then A sharp again. Okay, now obviously we can't have, necessarily, we can't have two of the same chords, so we might need to change uh, the last one up. So what we need to do now is click this, send this to the piano roll, and let's close all this out. Now I'm gonna cut this and copy this to our guitar. So all, now you're probably like, oh cool, you know, look all these notes and stuff. Um, but usually this doesn't work out, right? It doesn't translate properly and I'll make a video on how to do that. So I delete all the middle notes. Uh, we could probably we could just delete this maybe, right? So let's go ahead and grab in the uh, A sharp major so we can see what's going on. All right. So what I like to do is just put everything on the grid first so we can get a basic kind of rhythm going. So from this part, it's pretty simple. These are your leading tone, leading tones, or I guess they could be your bass, but um, I just use them as leading tones. Um, so you have more freedom because now you can make a chord like this, right? That's like the basic way of doing it. Or you can invert, you could do a chord like this. Okay. Or you could do it backwards. But let's just keep it simple and let's just make a chord from here. Skip every other note within the scale. Do one here. Now, if you run into something like this, all you have to do is invert the notes so that it's a smoother transition. Okay, we could do this one. Now I can tell this, this is gonna be the same chord. So I'm gonna just play these first. Well, actually, let me keep those up. All right. So if you run into this, right, and you, you don't know what note to press next, you're like, okay, I don't wanna use the same chord. You can do that, but you're like, I don't, I wanna make this a little bit more unique. What you can do is take your previous chord, right? Cause you want it to be in harmony, right? So you wanna take your previous chord or even you can take any notes from this, but I just do the previous chord. You could take any of these notes and make a chord out of it. Right, obviously you can't take the leading tone because it'll just end up being the same exact. So we could take F, right? F wasn't our leading tone. It's not in here anywhere, right? So we can pull this over and obviously let's pull it down. Let's build up a chord from here. And let's see how that sounds. Right, you see how it sounds really good. So. That is how you build the chords. So now we're gonna go into the part where we just pretty much just add the 808 and turn this into a melody. All right, so now we have to turn this into a melody. Now, if you watched my previous videos, you should know um, the rules you need to follow, but um, you need to keep track of your leading tones. Your leading tones are the, basically either, they could be your bass notes, your roots, whatever, right? Um, so in our case it's G, A sharp, D, and then remember we just made that F. So this is our bass line. So let's actually control down. And I'm just doing this so you can see what notes they are. Now, some of you, right? Well, mostly probably like fresh producers. You're probably like, wait a minute. You're in A sharp major. Why are you starting on the G? Well, my friend, um, if you don't know, the major and the minor, they're like yin yang. They're one and the same. It's just a starting point. So G minor, it's literally the same as A sharp major, okay? Um, that's why we can kind of flip between the scales. Now, how do you get to G? All you have to do, and let me just, can I just go on a different, let's just use this. So this is our root, right? If you just go three steps back, you'll hit, you'll hit the G minor scale, right? And then obviously this is, right? It's just a starting point and then vice versa, right? If, you, if you're on the G minor scale and you go three steps up, you'll hit that major, right? And that's how we can use um, 
that's how we can use the G as a starting point as well. Okay, so that's just a quick rundown. I might make an entire video on that, I guess, but um, let's get back to this melody. So we already did this. So now we're gonna use our guitar tricks. We're gonna take our second part, pull it back. And we're just gonna pull these up. And yep, I knew that was gonna be two. And you know, this melody is not gonna be anything crazy, but. Right, I'm not gonna do too much here because I wanna keep this video fairly short. So now we got a melody, right? You could add more, of course, right? But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just leave it here and we could just add our bass now. And if you wanted to, you could finish the beat, but I'm gonna just throw these, these, these 808s in here. So now, actually, let's just do something like this. Let's take these and pull them over. Probably pull that one down. All right, and it's as simple as that. And obviously we can add more. Now, um, the next video, we will actually be making a real beat, right? Um, from the vocal or just with an acapella, all right? But this is like the fundamentals that you need to know um, in order to do that with any vocal, all right? So that's it for this video. Um, hopefully you enjoy, hope this is helpful. Make sure you gotta like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one, peace.